You never know what makes people laugh these days. Now, I've been reading a book by Roy Blunt called Not Exactly What I Had in Mind, and I Haven't Laughed Once. Snickered, maybe. Just who is Roy Blunt? Some people describe him as a humorist. He was born in Indianapolis in 1941, but when he was 19 months old, his mobile Southern Methodist parents moved to Decatur, Georgia, which accounts for the twang that gives away his roots. Roy Blunt went to Vanderbilt on a Grantland Rice scholarship and later worked on the Atlanta Journal and Sports Illustrated. Now he writes for The Atlantic and other magazines, appears on radio's A Prairie Home Companion and CBS TV's morning program. He also writes books, such as Crackers, an expose of the Carter administration. Well, maybe not an expose, but let's say Roy had some fun at Carter's expense. Then there was What Men Don't Tell Women and One Fell Soup, or I'm just a bug on the windshield of life. A recent book by Roy Blunt is not exactly what I had in mind. Roy Blunt covers serious topics in essays such as The Singing Impaired, Women's Underwear, John Wayne, How to Sweat, and The New York Times. Now, recently, Roy Blunt took a trip down the Amazon River on a raft. For Sports Illustrated, my son and I went down the Amazon on a raft. Uh, with several other people. Couldn't afford a yacht? No, sure couldn't. We, uh, this was built out of cane poles and uh, palm leaves and balsa logs. We floated down and we swam in the water. The guide told us, don't worry about the piranha, uh, but just go ahead and swim in there. They won't bother you as long as you keep moving. So we kept moving and uh, I felt this little uh, sensation on my leg and I thought well you know I've been so sort of pecked at by fish before I'm not going to say anything and uh, but then it got a little sharper and I said well I'm having a an hysterical piranha attack I'm not going to respond to this and so I swam over to another spot and then all of a sudden it just got fierce right in this one same spot all these little bang 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 and so I just rose up out of the water and kind of hydroplaned back to the raft and got back and everybody was laughing at me so I pulled up my, the leg of my bathing suit, and sure enough, there were these little spots of blood forming and getting bigger. And so people said, well, you must have got into some kind of fish there. And so I felt sort of semi-vindicated, and finally I stood up, and a piranha jumped. This is true. Witnesses saw this. A piranha jumped out of my bathing suit pocket. So I was able to lead off my story, which I just finished writing, Wild Fish Tore My Flesh. Always wanted to start a story like you that. You should have written for the Pulp Detectives uh, way back when. How about the headhunters? You run across any headhunters? We didn't find any headhunters. We found some primitive people, but the sort of the heights of their primitivity was that when you took their picture, took their Polaroid picture and handed it to them, they would shake it real hard and you'd say, no, you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to do that anymore. But you couldn't talk them out of it there. You know, they're a few years behind. Well, I'm sorry you didn't find any uh, headhunters. Now, I know of a headhunter in Park Avenue who's had my resume for two years and hasn't done any good at all. Well, he's probably, he was probably on the boat with me. Now, uh, you're a television celeb, a real celeb. Uh, you're on uh, the CBS uh, morning show. Uh, what's it like being in the middle of all that glamour and excitement? <laughs> it's a lot like this. So. <laughs> Not so good, huh? Well, I mean, I, it doesn't feel all that glamorous. You know, they put makeup on me. That's always fun. I never... Uh, one of the things I pretty much uh, absorbed in high school was that uh, if I ever went off and started wearing makeup, went off up north and started wearing makeup, I ought not to come back. Uh, but it's kind of fun. I, sometimes I go out in the street and hope people will recognize it and uh, I say, this is my TV makeup, yes, network any, TV makeup. Anybody ever confused you with Louis Grizzard? Well, people, I know Louis Grizzard. People ask, you know, uh, if the, they haven't confused me enough with him to offer me the kind of money that he brings now. Well, we have to go, but I think before we do, uh, one of your most famous poems is about uh, a delicacy from the sea, and I thought perhaps you could recite it from memory. Perhaps I can. It's about oysters, song to oysters. It goes like this. I like to eat an uncooked oyster. Nothing's slicker, nothing's moister. Nothing's easier on your gorge, or when the time comes, to discharge. But not to, let your, but not to let it too long rest within your mouth is always best. For if your mind dwells on an oyster, nothing's slicker, nothing's moister. I prefer my oyster fried, then I'm sure my oyster's died. 
Roy Blunt. He writes books, tells stories, some of them true, and of course, all of them very serious and not supposed to make us laugh. Crackers, What Men Don't Tell Women, and his most recent, which is now out as a paperback, not exactly what I had in mind. Some people say it's funny. I've even heard them laughing when they read it, but I think they're missing the whole point. I'm Don Swain. Walden Books, a family bookstore with over 1,000 stores nationwide, boasts an extensive selection of books, magazines, games, audio tapes, and much more. As America's largest and fastest growing book retailer, Walden Books takes pride in its customer service orientation. Just ask one of our friendly and knowledgeable salespeople about our special services, including popular book clubs and special ordering. Walden Books, the bookstore that is dedicated to serving its customers' information and entertainment needs. Featured this week at Walden Books, Enemy in the Promised Land by Sana Hassan. Also, Skinwalker by Tony Hillerman.